Hi, good morning, my kindergarten friends. It is Mrs. Foster, also known as the Math Queen. I hope all of you are doing wonderful. I already got my workout in this morning, my shower in this morning, so I am in it to win it. So let's go ahead and go over expectations. We think, we act, and we talk like a mathematician. And as always, let's review what a mathematician is. A mathematician is just a person who studies numbers and shapes. You're all mathematicians because you're studying numbers and shapes. And Mrs. Foster just works with you on numbers. And in kindergarten, one of the goals is that you can count forward to 100 from any given number. So today, we're going to start at 69 and we're going to count up to 89. So let's review what number comes after 69. Yeah, it's 70. And then the pattern goes up. And what number comes right after 79? Did you say 80? You are correct. So let's go ahead and lock 69 in our brain. Here we go. 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. But what number comes right after 89? If you said 90, you've got it. Now today, we're gonna also practice counting backwards. You guys are masters at counting backwards from 20. So today, why don't we start at 30 and count back down to 17. So now think about it. If you're at 30, what's the number that comes right before 30? So here's 30, what number comes here? Yeah, it's 29. And then we'll count back down and we'll get to 20. And what number comes right before 20? Here's 20. What's the number right before it? It's 19. So let's go ahead and start at 30 and count back down to 17. Lock 30 in. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Pat, pat, pat. On the back, back, back. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is Mrs. Foster is going to flash you some 10 frames. And I'll just show you this 10 frame really quickly here. So a 10 frame always has 10 boxes on it. So let's check. One, two, three, four. There's always five boxes on the top row, and one, two, three, four, five boxes on the bottom row, and we know what's five plus five. It is 10. So I'm gonna flash you these cards really quickly, and then I want you to tell me how many dots you see, and then how many more to make 10. So that's getting you ready for first grade. So are you ready? How many dots did you see? And then how many more to make 10? Okay, so let's look. We saw five dots and we would need five more to make 10. Five and five makes 10. Here comes the next one I'm gonna flash you. How many dots did you see? And how many more to make 10? So think about how many of those empty boxes? Okay, let's check. So there's five, six, seven, eight dots. And how many more to make 10? Two. Eight and two make 10. So you want to get pictures of these in your brain. Here comes our next one. How many dots did you see? <clears throat> how many more to make 10? Let's take a look. There's six dots and we would need four more to make 10. Six and four make 10. Okay, here comes our next one. How many dots did you see? 
and how many more to make 10? Let's check, and when I flash, you've got to trust that there's five here, five, six, seven, because I'm only giving you a quick flash, and you would need three more to make 10. Seven and three make 10. Okay, here comes our next one. How many dots did you see? How many more to make 10? This one's pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. How many dots are there? There's 10, there aren't any empty boxes. So how many more would you need to make 10? Yeah, you're right, it would be zero. 10 and zero make 10. And here comes our next one. How many dots did you see? And how many more to make 10? How many dots are there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine dots. How many more would you need to make 10? Just one more. Nine and one make 10. Oh, you are mathematician rock stars. Now, we have been working with those T numbers and we've been using, typically we've been using a bundle because we know that there are 10 sticks in a bundle and we've been using sticks to build our T numbers. But we're gonna use another tool to help you get a visual picture in your mind for those T numbers. So Mrs. Foster, in Instead of just a 10 frame, this is a double 10 frame. So when this is a 20 frame, and so in a double 10 frame, there's 10 boxes on the top row, and there's 10 boxes on the bottom row, and all together, that would be 20. So we're gonna double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the cards that I'm gonna show you, there's always gonna be 10 dots in the upper row, and then we'll see how many dots are in the bottom row. So let's look at this one. So how many dots in the top row? 10. How many dots in the bottom row? Zero. How many all together? Yeah, this is 10. So if I had a bundle, I would have one bundle. But here, I'm looking, I've got a 5 plus 5 equals 10. Here comes the next one. And I'm going to show, I'm not going to flash them to you. How many dots on the top row? And how many dots on the bottom row? And how many all together? Did you say 11? Hopefully you're just going 10, 11. Sort of like when we trust that there's five, we've got to trust that there's 10 on here. So this would look like one bundle and one stick. Okay, here comes our next one on our double 10 frame. So again, gosh, how many dots in that top row? 10. How many dots in the bottom row? Two. How many is that all together? Let's check. 10, 11, 12. One bundle and two sticks, or one 10 and two ones. Here comes our next one. I bet you're getting really good at this. How many dots in the top row? Uh, 10, Mrs. Foster. How many dots in that bottom row? Three. So how many is that all together? What T number is that? Let's see, it's 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. You'll notice we're going in order. Gosh, I wonder what our next number is gonna be. How many dots on the top row? 10. How many dots on the bottom row? Four. How many is that all together? Some of you might just know in a snap, oh, that's 14. If not, go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is what 14 looks like on my double 10 frame. Here comes our next one here. Oh, how many dots in the top row? 
10. How many dots in that bottom row? Five. How many all together is that? Let's see, it should be 15. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 all together here. Oh, here comes our next one. So we're just gonna look at the dots in the top row. How many dots in the top row? 10. How many dots in that bottom row? Oh, we've got that five to anchor to. So there's six. How many is that all together? Some of you just know it's 16. If not, we can check 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 10 ones and six ones make 16. Here comes our next one that I'm gonna show you. Again, we're looking at the dots. How many dots in the top row? How many in the bottom row? Remember, we've got five, six, seven. So we've got 10 on the top, seven on the bottom. How many is that all together? Yeah, it is 17. I know right here is 15, 16, 17. It's okay if I need to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17, 10 ones and seven ones make 17. Oh, here we go. Look at my cards, keeps getting more dots. How many dots in that top row? 10, that's never changing. Gosh, how many in that bottom row? Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. How many is that all together? What teen number is that? 10 plus eight. Yeah, it's 18, we'll double check though. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And finally, our last teen number. So here is that double 10 frame. And again, how many dots on that top row? 10. Ooh, how many dots on the bottom row? Yeah, nine, there's one less than 10. How many all together? What's 10 plus nine? Did you say 19? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, you got it. And now this is my last one, but it's not a teen number. How many dots in the top row? 10. How many dots on the bottom row? 10. What is 10 plus 10? It is 20. Nicely done, my mathematicians. All righty. So today we practice counting forward from any given number. We practice counting backwards. We practice looking at 10 frames in a flash and seeing how many they, how many uh, dots you saw and how many more to 10. And then we introduce the double 10 frame where we have 10 dots on the bottom and then we added more dots down below. I hope all of you have a great day. Let's go ahead and put our hand in here. I got it. You got yours, mine on top. Let's do our math cheer. One, two, three. Math is cool and tigers rule. Break. Have a great rest of your week.